only in Minnesota, right? You want to see the weather change? Hold my beer and wait 10 minutes and you'll see it, right? Nissan. Let's go see what 310 standard horsepower. All new Nissan Frontier. Get out there, way out there. 1,610 pounds maximum torque. That must be this one. Looking at trucks. What's nice. It, what? Looking for a hail sale. Is that what you're looking for? <laughs> <laughs> no. You're, you're, getting, you're, you're, getting, you're, you're upping everybody else, right? So like out there. Right, right there, we also have, uh, this will be the newest in like September. It'll be coming out. That's the Rock Creek, but it's a Pathfinder. It's a limited edition one. Okay, right I'm there. more looking for trucks. Oh, so yeah, yeah, yeah. What's yeah. new about these? Um, right there, Becky can tell you all about that. Okay, hi, Becky. Hey, how are you? Good, I'm looking at trucks. Yeah. Uh, what's new with the Nissans? Frontier was the full redesign last year, so the 22 was the full body cell change. 22 this year, because it's 22. Yeah, this it came one. out last fall though, but that's. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay, yep. okay. So can you walk me through and just show me? Because yeah. the. Are you just looking like compact trucks? Is that what you want? Are you looking for? Or What's that? Are you looking for a compact truck? Is that what you're supposed to? I'm just looking. Okay. I'm just looking for. I'm um, just doing a compare and contrast of all the different trucks. Okay. What's out there? What, what Nissan has, because I'm not familiar with them, and I don't care if it's a big truck or a little truck, as long as you can put it to work and make a living with it, that's what I'm looking at. Yeah, okay. Are you, too, are you trying to do this on camera, or yeah. you just want to walk through it? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I don't know if I want to be <laughs> Well, it's a little too late, Becky. I'm sorry. Is this a standard trim level? Pro 4X, yes. So this will be the four-wheel drive or the off-road edition. Yeah, you can get leather, like a leather package added onto it and stuff if you want to. Okay. Um, but it'll come in a king cab, crew cab. So the king cab would be like the cab and a half. So if okay. you want a longer bed, you have that option as well. Um, you can get the crew cab with a long bed version too. So you can get full four doors plus a longer bed. Oh, you can. So that's an option. Yep. Okay. That was a big deal. A lot of people, you know, they want room for five passengers, but they also want to be able to use. What do we you know, What do we run in this with? What's the power plant in them? Um, this one's actually a 3.8 liter V6 across the board. So that's just, you know that's the only engine available. It's 310 horsepower. Um, it'll actually tow up to like 6,700 pounds. Okay. So it gets good towing and capability and everything like that too. So and it'll come obviously four wheel drive or two wheel drive. What What is a model like this run for price wise? Um, about 40 as is. 40 as is yeah. for a base a, a model like this? For this as it is. This is the Pro 4X with the Pro. Yeah. How about availability? Again, it depends on dealerships and yeah. what we have in stock. I don't know. I can't really give you. I mean, have you heard that you six months out, three months out? Like, if I wanted to buy a Ford F-350, forget it. The guy just told me, really? just forget it. You can't buy it. Okay. He said, you see this truck right here? You can't buy that truck. So, you don't have that issue? Not as far as I've heard. I've been able to get these pretty readily. What do you mean you're building them here in the U.S.? Like we built them in a plant? I know, but where? Oh, in Keaton, Mississippi. So Nissan is actually built in the United States? Yeah. <laughs> we have lots of vehicles built here. I would say probably 80% of what we sell here is built here. We have a big plant in Smyrna, Tennessee, and a big plant in Canton, Mississippi. So, and our, our headquarters is based down in Nashville. So like in Franklin, Tennessee is where Nissan North America is based out of. I had no clue. Oh, yeah? I thought you were coming from communist China. <laughs> that's a nice inside. Hey, so you're saying, that's not a work truck. It's a work truck. If you can make a living with it, it's a work truck. That's my, that's my. No, but it does feel kind of light and flimsy. No, it's built really strong. It just doesn't fall like a lot of the beds that are really heavy. No, but just watch your fingers, Becky. Hear that? That's kind of a tinny. Just doesn't give, you know, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm picking, but you know, just a little, that's the little things I notice. You know, like when I'm driving down the road, I'm kind of trying to tune in exactly and find out where that quality comes from or doesn't come from and you know I'm not picking on it I'm just saying noticing yeah on the truck track they have one that you can ride in 
They do, okay. No, I'm good, I don't, I'm, but thank you. Yes. Becky, thank you very much. And of course, if you ever have a chance to come to the Minnesota State Fair, it is, I think, I believe the second largest fair in the United States, I believe. And one of the most popular exhibits is Caterpillar Kingdom. But look at that creepy guy. Oh, that just does not look right in so many ways. Just so wrong. If you were four years old and your parents were like, hey, Bobby, do you want to go to Caterpillar Kingdom? And you walked up and you seen that fricker, do you think you may have a nightmare? Maybe. And maybe not want to go in. And then when you get in, all of a sudden all these bugs start landing all over you, but you're not allowed to brush them off? Ah, gee, I don't know why Caterpillar Kingdom has traumatized so many little kids. Just he can't fit. It's truck week, it's truck week, it's all about trucks. And any truck that makes you a living is what I consider to be a work truck. So I don't care if it's a half ton, three quarter ton, one ton. If it pays the bills and puts food on your table, I consider that a truck that goes to work. And so we're gonna be looking at all sorts, all shapes, all sizes, all models. We're not gonna, we, we, well, there's that a truck over there? Let's go see. First year of, of these. Can anybody kind of walk me through them? Because I'm not yeah, familiar absolutely. with them at all, but sure. on camera. Um, sorry, sir, I'm not on camera. Can't be on camera. Can any of you guys be on camera? Can you be on camera? Can you be on camera? You can't be on camera. I'm currently filming, yes. Blur them out. Can you be on camera? No. Can you? Can you? <laughs> Nobody can be on camera. Okay. Extra cargo space on the side. There's also extra hooks where you can hook it on the side if you have an ABT. Um, How big is this bed? Is this a four foot bed on it? Let me see the volume on it. Now this is the highest trim package and this is brand new, right? Yeah, this is a limited. It's version either comes in a 2.5 liter engine or a turbo engine of that. You're either going to get front wheel drive option or all wheel drive option. Front wheel drive or all wheel drive. Next thing I ask is what's the price? There you can see um, this is the front wheel drive price. If you want to get the all wheel drive you'll just tag on about uh, 1500 bucks to it if you want the all wheel drive version. And the MPG is right here. Where um, where's the MPG? Just right. Twenty one, twenty six. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And then then the second row seats. If you want to pull up those doors. Also, the seats go all the way up for more store space back here. And of course, this is supposed to be a pickup truck SUV crossover that's sitting on a similar chassis to our Tucson. I'm gonna put it back down. And this is the highest trim level, and over here is the mid-level trim yeah, level? Yeah, the SEL premium. Okay. It just doesn't have leather. So, same console. The console hasn't changed, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. It, are we missing any options besides just some niceties like leather seats or anything like that? Or? Leather seats, um, there's a few like Features that you wouldn't get on the top trim level. Let me show you. Um, you're going to get the size wheels between the 18 versus the. Oh, I'm sorry, you're not. You're going to get the 20 inch versus the 18 inch alloy wheels. Okay, so just bigger wheels. Yeah. Let's see, that's a light yeah, up just trunk. Extra technology the inside that you wouldn't be able to. Uh, externally look for. Tie down brackets. It's really when you Slide. go to the interior, it kind of changes. This is the tonneau cover so all the way forward. You can also So the tonneau it. cover is built in. Yeah. And then you can actually lock it from here. You turn this on and close the vehicle. The next thing I asked was if the tonneau cover was lockable and found out that it is. Um, and you don't want anyone to get into it. Uh huh. Actually, this isn't a bad truck. 
that's not not bad. The price range isn't bad either. I mean, we're what one is this one on this? Um, this is the SEL Premium right here, um, but it's probably it's all wheel drive, so this will be like the thirty-seven thousand seven hundred one. Um, is this your first time at Hyundai? Yeah, for sure. Yeah, we have a great warranty. It covers all of our vehicles. It's ten years, hundred thousand miles. Ten years, hundred thousand miles. Transferable. Um, I'm not quite sure. That would be a question for your dealership to see if you can work that out. Okay. All right. Grace, thank you. Yeah, absolutely. Have a great day. You too. All right. There we go.